Gaming Bolt presents 15 games that misled players with fake screenshots. Advertising and marketing have become so important for major AAA releases that they rival big budget Hollywood blockbusters. Much like Hollywood and the odd few scenes from a trailer that are never seen in the actual movie, the gaming industry has been a little unfaithful about its actual products. Whether it's blatant adjustments and effects or more subtle color correction, let's take a look at 15 occasions where developers misled gamers with fake screenshots. Far Cry 4, Ubisoft Montreal. Why not start with a particular screenshot? Featuring co-op gameplay with players in buzzers, that was the focus of a Kotaku article about a professional bullshotter. This Far Cry 4 shot had soft edges on the bullet casings and muzzle flashes on guns, an effect which extended to the buzzer's rotors. That's only the tip of the iceberg for Ubisoft though, so don't worry. Madden NFL 06, EA Tiburon. The game that started it all. EA's Madden 06 had screenshots that were touted as actual gameplay from the get-go. Penny Arcade would coin the term upon seeing these and comparing them to the actual game, which had nowhere near the same fidelity. EA has been a little better about this with recent times, but still employs the practice every now and then. Far Cry 3, Ubisoft Montreal. Of course, it's not like Ubisoft is new at the game. Far Cry 3's initial screenshots included dogs attacking the player with fairly impressive motion blur and detail. That's not taking into account the smooth edges or motion blur on the player's machete, or the painting-like quality to the fire in the distance. No Man's Sky – Hello Games The controversy surrounding Hello Games' No Man's Sky was simple. Many players felt the gameplay features shown in screenshots like fleet battles, large animals, and certain scenarios weren't actually in the game. Valve would eventually revamp its Steam policy to push for actual in-game screenshots, but an investigation by the Advertising Standards Authority in the UK found that the screens did not exaggerate the expected player experience. Take that for what you will. Haze, Free Radical Design Ah, the era of Halo Killers, when everyone attempted to one-up Bungie's classic first-person shooter. Free Radical Design, which rose to fame with the Time Splitters franchise, tried to live up to that moniker with Haze. Unfortunately, the PS3 exclusive had nowhere near the level of clarity or sharpness that its screens promised. The infamous soft muzzle flashes on guns give them away rather quickly. The Getaway, Team Soho. When the getaway was announced, we all wanted to believe those environments and car details were real. Even if it was the PlayStation 2 era, we wanted to believe. The actual game isn't as sharp or anti-aliased, however, with flat environmental textures, blurry vehicle textures, and an overall dreary presentation. To think that the developer delayed the release by 27 months in order to capture all of London in high resolution. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, CD Projekt Red. When CD Projekt Red first showcased The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, we were stunned by the incredible detail of its particle effects, grass textures, Geralt's armor, and more. Of course, when the game was closer to release, the latest batch of screenshots looked noticeably less detailed. Though a different render scale or some such reason was used to justify the change, it became obvious that The Witcher 3 at launch looked noticeably less impressive than earlier screenshots and footage. Thankfully, it still is a great looking game overall. Titanfall 2 – Respawn Entertainment much as we enjoyed Titanfall 2, its initial screenshots don't exactly possess the kind of color quality present in the actual game. This isn't to say that the game itself doesn't look good, it's definitely a huge step up from the first Titanfall. However, the color correction, especially the crazy amounts of contrast, sharpness, and effects in certain images felt a bit too enhanced from the actual release. Borderlands 2 – Gearbox Software Gearbox Software has been a bit notorious with misleading consumers. More on that in a bit. For Borderlands 2, a screenshot for the Damn Fine Rescue mission was taken to task for its high amounts of contrast. Though that actual scene more or less plays out as such in the game, minus the lack of aliasing and everything being so clear, once again, Borderlands 2 can look pretty good, for its time that is, but this kind of image enhancing doesn't feel as stylistic as it wanted to be. Split Second Blackrock Studio. What in the world happened to Split Second's images? One particular shot has way too much color correction and sheen, coupled with an odd vignette effect. 
The game itself is fairly stylish, but some screens just come across as blurry and trying too hard to capture that sense of speed as opposed to, well, actually presenting the game as it is, which is the opposite of what Bullshots intend, so let's move on. Motorstorm Evolution Studios Back in the day, before companies, some of them anyways, clarified whether announcement videos were pre-rendered CG or actual gameplay, games like Motorstorm on the PS3 looked positively fantastic. Screenshots released from its E3 2005 presentation, ironically the same year that Killzone 2 was showcased, indicated a game that looked too good to be true. Long story short, they were. Killzone 2 – Guerrilla Games Guerrilla Games wasn't always known for its strong open-world design and robot dinosaurs. Instead, it was creating graphically rich Killzone 2 presentations that didn't represent the actual game, by a long shot. Managing director Herman Hulst would eventually own up to the controversial E3 2005 trailer, but the actual game set a fairly good standard for PS3 games. Aliens Colonial Marines Gearbox Software Aliens Colonial Marines looked so misleading in its final release from earlier demos that it actually triggered a lawsuit. Even the screenshots were highly embellished, whether it was the loader battle against the xenomorphs or actual firefights against the aliens. The game had nowhere near the level of detail, lighting, and atmosphere that those screens promised. Oh, and it was also one of the worst games ever made as well, can't forget about that. The Crew – Ivory Tower the crew's launch was mired with a number of issues, as is to be expected from a persistent online title, but the marketing should have been the first sign of trouble. Screenshots looked impeccably composed with cars grouped beautifully together. The usual soft edges to aspects like moving plane rotors and the like were also featured. Meanwhile, in the actual game at launch, players had trouble sticking together due to server disconnects. Far Cry Primal, Ubisoft Montreal. Another Far Cry title? Wow. Far Cry Primal did some fairly interesting things with its bull shots, from the usual perfectly smooth edges to the abundance of radiating bloom. That lighting also seemed perfect for highlighting the appropriate details all of the better. Once again, the actual game looks good, but it's nowhere near as amazing as its initial screenshots indicated. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.